Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have everyone here. So I am here right now, I'm looking to, let's see what this is, February the 15th and the 16th of 2024. Happy birthday to the sign of Aquarius. I really do hope that you enjoy your birthday season. Everything you need to know about me is down below in the description box. I have a special today for Valentine's Day. I'm actually recording this on the 14th, so I do have a special today. And if you're interested in a personal reading, it is a really special price for you. And um, just text me when you get it done. But um, this reading is actually for February the 15th and February the 16th of 2024. Let's see what we have going down right here in this energy check right here for all the signs. Everyone's welcome. It's about just like that. The emperor is here. Strong and mighty. Hmm. Okay, attentive, grounded, something like that. Okay, this could be an Aries, maybe. It could be a father, a boss, or somebody. <laughs> somebody right here, okay. Yeah, do you see how it went like that? I feel like, you know, somebody's definitely here. Like, maybe, like, fast or lightning or... This is a fire sign energy. Aries is fire sign, so it could be a father or a boss or somebody here. Okay, let's see what else. Wow, <laughs> the nine of cups right here and the ten of pentacles right here. I'm getting like whoever this is, is financially secured. I'm getting right here. <laughs> okay, this emperor person right here, like they're financially secured. I feel like they're a boss or something like that. They could be a boss at work. They could be. Could be a father or anything like that. Could be. Maybe somebody has Aries in their chart or something like that. But the Nine of Cups is the wish card right here. Something is wish fulfillment right here. And then this one right here is financially secured right here. Okay. Okay. What else? The Death card. This could be a Scorpio maybe. It's a Scorpio right here or Aries I'm getting right here. Could definitely be a Scorpio or Aries. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we got a Leo here. Okay. Hmm. All right. What else? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's your message here? Would you look at that? Wow, the Ten of Cups. Somebody's happy. Somebody's like really emotionally fulfilled or joyful or something like that. I feel like somebody is happy. Get my head. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Something's wish fulfillment. This is um emotionally fulfilling. This is financially secured. <laughs> This is a Scorpio or Aries, something like that. It's okay. What's the message here? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> could be a Taurus here. How fun. It even could be somebody's married. Okay. Or somebody wants to marry you. Or this is wish fulfillment. They want to marry you, I feel. Right. Or you're married to them. Could be the case here. You're married to this this person here. This Aries here. <laughs> something like that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Five of cups. Hmm. I don't know why this is here. We will see why it's here. We'll pull a card over top of it to see. But the Five of Cups is a card of like regrets or grief or something right here. Like financially or something. Okay, what else is going on? Okay, not a swear. Are they worried about it? Okay. So somebody's worried about losing you or losing them or losing a marriage or something like that. This how far could be a marriage. Maybe somebody's worried about losing a marriage or losing you or something like that. Yeah, because I'm here like, don't take them away from me or something. So somebody could be saying that right here, okay? All right, what else? The Emperor right here and the um, Ten of Cups. Hmm. The Emperor and the Ten of Cups. What's going on? Okay, right here. The Moon is reverse. So the Moon reverse, okay, is um, I'm not afraid. Okay, that's, that's what I want. I'm not afraid. Okay, so that's good. I'm not afraid here. Okay. I'm not in some illusion. Something is seen very clear. Okay. If somebody has some dream, I feel like the dream is clear. Okay. With the moon card right here. I feel like it's clear for somebody to understand what that dream was telling them in some way. If this is a dream. Okay. Um, or is this what somebody is visualizing? Is this your vision, vision board? Could be a vision board right here. Okay. For some people here. What else? The sun. Hmm. 
subject is revealed, I feel, okay, that this is the family or this is the one they want to be with or this is emotionally fulfilling or that I'm not afraid or something like that. It could be a Leo here. This even could be successful. I'm really successful here. This one right here. Happiness, definitely this one right here and this one is both happiness right here, okay? So it's like, yeah, okay, so I feel like somebody here does want to be happy with you in some way. Or you are happy, something like that. If it's with Pisces or Cancer or the Sun, the Leo or Aries, they really making you happy or something like that? I feel right here. You got Seven of Pentacles right here. So I feel like something here is harvest time right here. Success, happiness, everything. I feel like somebody here could be harvesting something. Maybe something here is financially secured. Somebody could have got some lump sum of cash or something like that. I feel like they did. There's somebody here, they got some lump sum of cash right there and everything like that. Okay, it could be a father, maybe, or anybody else it could be, but they they got they got some lump sum of cash, I feel. Okay. Anything else? Okay. The high priest is reverse. Okay, so secrets is revealed. Something is really revealed. I'm getting ready. This one, this one, and this one. Like secrets is revealed. It could be that somebody has a lump sum of cash or that it's harvest time for you or something like that here. Or that you're not afraid of something. I'm not afraid. Something like that. That's revealed. That you're not afraid or something like that for some people here, okay? High priest. I mean, not high priest. This is the high front right here. And the, the nine of cups. I'm getting like somebody's living their best life here, okay? I'm getting they are. Somebody's living a good life here, I feel, all right? Something here is wish fulfillment, I feel. Could be a tourist, okay? Could be a marriage. Or maybe somebody here has um, spiritual wisdom and knowledge about something, and that's wish fulfillment, I'm getting like your spiritual life in itself is wish fulfillment too. I'm getting here with the higher form right here. Okay. What's the message right here, please? Okay. The devil card. The devil card is right here. Hmm. So I feel like right here. All right. All right. Let me see now. So, so all right. For one thing, let's put, slow everything here. Okay. Because we have right here the emperor and the devil. So they could be narcissistic. Doesn't have to be, but they could be. Okay. That's one way it could be. All right. The devil and the hierophant. Okay. So maybe you have knowledge of who somebody really is. Could be the case. Or they don't like something that you believe in as far as religion or anything else. Could be the case. They don't like it, I feel, right here with a devil card, okay? They could think something here is heresy, or they could think whatever they could be thinking, okay? It could be something like that, okay? Because I feel like somebody really do have wisdom and knowledge how to do something right here, and it's hard to tell right here which side of the fence they on, okay? Are they in the dark or are they in the light? kind of hard to figure that out here, okay? But I feel like right here, if they, let's say they're in the dark. They know about it. They know about the dark arts right here with these three. Okay, they know all about a cult or anything else. I'm not going to get deep into it, okay? But they know about it, okay? All right? And if this is, like, the light, they're knowing right here that somebody's a narcissist. So, you know, maybe this is empaths and a narcissist or something like that. Could be the case. Could be an empath and a narcissist. Wow. I'm getting, like, the total extreme or something like that. Okay, so I'm getting, like, something could be extreme right here. You know, when the narcissist right here and the empath meet or something like that. That could be it. Okay, let me see what's going on. Okay, the house front right here and the nine of cups. The house front right here and the nine of cups, please. Okay, too many flipped out here. It's way too many right here. Look, that's way too many. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay. All right, the house front and the nine of cups. Here we go. Okay. The two of pentacles right here. Reverse. So I feel like you can see right through somebody. <laughs> I feel. You either can see they're narcissists or you can see they don't like something about you or what you practice or something. It could be a religious practice or whatever it could be. All right. Um, so something like that or something that could be about a bank with the higher font. Clarity about a bank. Something that's about a bank. Okay. Or about a school or something like that. Okay. What else here? Yeah, the lover's card. This could be a Gemini. Maybe you can see right through the Gemini or the Taurus or anybody else. You can see through them, I feel. Okay. All right. Mm. Yeah, because I'm looking at this devil. Hmm. Look, look, look at his fingernails and everything. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just take a look at him. 
Mm. So, I don't know. Yeah, the star card is reverse. And the queen of swords is reverse. Yeah. Something's not with fulfillment in some way right here. I'm getting like, it's the best, but it's like, it's not with fulfillment in some way. You know, star and the sun, like I told you guys before, I'm sure you heard me say it before. The star and the sun, best cards interval. When you get that combination together, something here is like the freaking best, okay? But I feel like for some reason, the star card reverse is not with fulfillment in some way, right? Or, um, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not with fulfillment to your spiritual life, I'm getting in some way. It's not, okay? Because I feel like the star is somebody here that's very inspiring, or somebody here that is um, motivational, has hope in some way, okay? All right, so is the narcissist right here with fulfillment to that in some way? That's, that could be a question, all right? Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody's emotional, okay? Because I feel like they want you so freaking bad over here, somebody do. Okay, but with the Queen of Sports reverse right here. Either something here, okay. Somebody's going to pay for something, could be the case. Because, you know, Queen of Sports reverse could be, once again, narcissist. So maybe somebody's a narcissist, that's for one. Queen of Sports reverse also could be somebody's going to pay for something they did to somebody in some way. Some evil something, they're going to regret it here, I feel. Queen of Sports Reverse also could be somebody's very emotional right now. Somebody is in this mix is emotional right here because you have clarity about a Gemini, Capricorn, or a narcissist, or whoever else. Okay, a Scorpio, a Leo, something like that. I also feel like something's not wish fulfillment to somebody here because they want to harvest something over here. All right. I feel like you're not afraid of something. Okay. Maybe they was they was thinking you was gonna be afraid in some way. But the moon card reverse is that you're not afraid in some way. You know. I feel like you got so much spiritual and not antic spiritual um knowledge over here that you're not afraid about something. They want you to be afraid, or they want you to be in your ego or something. I feel like you're not in your ego. Something here is not afraid. It's not scary or something like that. It's not. Okay. Yeah, they're stuck right here. They're stuck, okay? Yeah, they're stuck because something will be hopeless or, you know, because you're definitely not afraid of getting right here in some way. They was hoping you was going to be afraid, I feel, in some way. They was thinking that, okay? Five of Cups right here, Ten of Pentacles. This one right here, look at the diamonds right there and the pearls right there, or pearls right there, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, five of cups. See, somebody wants you so bad. I feel like something here is financially secure. I feel like somebody here, you know, could feel like they're losing something without you or something. What's the ten of pentacles and the five of cups? Yeah, because some relationship is financially secured, I feel, right here. Yeah, I feel. Okay. For some reason, you're not afraid. You have spiritual wisdom and knowledge or, you know, they're noxious or something like that. You know? I feel like some spiritual stuff they're doing right here, maybe it's hell to pay for it right here. Queen of Swords or Rose could be. Because if they're doing a black magic spell or anything like that, I feel like, you know, that could be hell to pay for. You're not afraid of some black magic spell or something like that, I feel. Yeah, it's, it's time to move on for some people here. Okay? It's time to move on or something. So they're stuck because you're definitely not afraid or something like that. Okay? Yeah. Nine of Swords right here in a death card. I feel like they're afraid or they're in fear right here because something's ending, I feel. Okay? This could be a Scorpio. What's the message right here, please? The death card and the ten of swords. The death card right here and the ten of maybe this is the nine of swords. So let me try to get here. Death card and the nine of swords, please. The death card right here and the nine of swords. Okay, so we got a nine of pentacles right here. So a life full of luxury. Maybe somebody is um single. Okay. They're afraid that you're single, right? Or they're afraid of this Virgo or the Scorpio. You're like they're afraid of them or something like that. <laughs> Right here. Yeah. I feel like something haunts them right there. So they haunt somebody right here, okay? The fact that you're single or something like that. Okay, yeah, three of pentacles right here. 
because they want to work together with you. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eight of Swords right here. Nine of Wands. For some people here, they're powerless right here. Okay. At um, maybe having sex with you or having a one night stand with you. They could even be powerless at somebody else. Maybe they're trying to have, you know, that with somebody else. Could be the case, you know. What's the message right here, please? King of Wands, or Aries, or Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like somebody is like, what? You? I feel like a rejection. So if you rejected somebody, somebody like me, like who rejects me or something like that? Could be the case. All right, what's the message here? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune right here. Okay. I feel like you're not afraid if something here's going to go to your favor. Okay, that actually haunts somebody else. I feel like whatever fear they had going on over here, is the one that's going back to them, I feel. I feel like it's going to go back to them. Or they're going to feel all this fear. Because I feel like you're not. Or something like that. Right here. The Queen of Swords are very... Yeah, three of Cups right here. Yeah. And for some people here, a third party is fate. Something that's too hard for them to do. For some people right here. Right? Or some people here, it's a challenge right here to... Like I said, have a one-night stand with you. Or get you drunk. Or be with you. Or something like that. Okay? Somebody feels left out. Okay? some way. Okay, I feel like somebody is worried that you're single right here. That you're leaving them out. There's some way here. Yeah. They want you to come back, I feel. Like, how did I get you to come back right here, I feel. So, that's what somebody's worried about right now. I'm getting, okay? Let's get one more. We're going to end it right here. Okay, here we go. Okay, Knight of Swords right here and a Six of Cups right here. Somebody overextended themselves in the past for some people right here. Okay, so for in the past, for some people, they walked away. I feel like now they want to come back. And it could be too hard for some people here. It definitely could be a challenge right here. So people right here, somebody from the past or something. Okay, that's what I have here, all right? Thank you so much for taking a look. And I send you all peace, blessings, of course, love, and light. Namaste to you.